What up, bro? Tube. Early. Not even that early, man. It's fucking 6 a.m. 6.15. I went to the gym. I'm not really sure what we're gonna work out, but we're going. Sipping on some MTS Nutrition Sniper, which is our latest pre-workout. And gotta say, man, I think it's my favorite, probably one of my favorite pre-workouts that I've had in a long time. Um, you know, I every time that I take it, I it's not as strong as a lot of the other ones, but I feel like it gets me. You can definitely tell there's not that much caffeine, which is kind of what I'm gonna talk about today. It's caffeine because. Um, <clears throat> I've, you know, it's another thing that people try to limit and stuff, and like people do certain things, like, oh, I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine, but maybe there's like some health component to that. I mean, I'm definitely not a fan of people that only drink caffeine or, or that overdo the whole energy drink thing. I'm talking about just like having coffee all the time. I mean, every day, right? Or like caffeine every day, or most days. Uh, I, I wanna say that I don't have ca coffee every day, caffeine every day, but I'm pretty fucking sure that I do. I don't drink coffee every day. I hardly drink coffee. The one that I do drink is pre-workout. Now, I think I think I'm going to get to a point where I'm probably not going to have to be doing pre-workout or I don't want to be doing pre-workout so much. However, I get up fucking early and uh, it, 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 it's still, <laughs> I think it helps me, you know, it helps me wake up a little bit. It helps me uh, push through shit. It helps me feel excited. But, <sighs> huh, excuse me. There's a lot, a lot of other things that could also do that. However, I think that, if, like, there's definitely there's there's good caffeine consumption and then there's bad caffeine consumption. And one of the things that we need to be conscious of is that <laughs> these fucking Starbucks drinks and and cool. Um, and monster and energy drinks and you know like cute coffee drinks um, really make it easy for us to increase our overall caffeine consumption a lot of things have caffeine a lot of things that taste good have, ca have caffeine and you know I don't know the fucking perfect dosage right like it's not like I'm uh, over here Scientist, I'm a bro scientist, which means that I just go straight up on what I have experienced, you know, and what I've seen other people experience. And for the most part, I do coffee or caffeine every day, just like a lot of people that I do coffee, that do coffee every day. As much as you know, people want to say, like, that it's not bad for you. I don't think caffeine itself is bad for you. I think whenever you you consume multiple uh, caffeine drinks for no reason, I think that's when you start building a really, really high tolerance. And you don't necessarily get the benefits out of caffeine. Now, I do have some pre-workouts that are like 400 milligrams of caffeine, which is like eight cups of coffee or some shit. That's way too much caffeine. I know that, like, it's, you know, for, for a serving, it's a lot. And I, it's just on special days, okay? Those days are just special. Meaning that, like, I'm only going to work out once. I'm not going to work out again. Uh, or maybe, like, that's... Really here. Oh. Huh. Excuse me. But, yeah, I haven't mean, had caffeine today. But I'm gonna have some right now. That's fucking red light. So, 
Building a tolerance caffeine is super easy, right? You have fucking a bunch of good tasting uh, sodas and drinks with coffee in it. But when it comes to pre-workout, man, that's so good. Motherfuckers are scared of taking pre-workout because it's too much caffeine. They're like, oh, I don't want to build a, a caffeine tolerance. Look, just because you have problems with self-control doesn't mean that you can't participate in the black arts of pre-workout. So, I think it actually could help you if you just kind of understand that you can get your energy from exercise and, you know, pre-workout is like the little, the little dressing on top or the little sprinkle, sprinkle on top. You know what I'm saying? But just look at it that way. And, you know, so a scoop of, of Sniper is about 200 milligrams caffeine. Big ass fucking coffee from Starbucks, which are pretty fucking good. I just had a toasted white caramel, no, a toasted white chocolate something, and it was so good. It was so good. And it had like 350 milligrams caffeine. Way more than the fucking, than the, the pre workout that I take. I do about half a serving in the afternoons, so I do like another. 175 milligrams of caffeine but I work out again you know I'm working out again you know I'm working out two times a day these days, some days most days I want to do that I like to have another thing of caffeine because it tastes good it makes me feel good but not all the time though, not all the time sometimes I trick myself and I just have some Yohembi pills and that's it, And Yohembi ain't got no caffeine so I just have that with some BCAs on the motherfucking bike just go by it that way look it doesn't really like you don't have to punish yourself and yo-yo just you know like there's a bunch of diets like they're like this yo-yo diets you know like where you have these uh changes these dietary changes but you um But you're never making any lifestyle changes, therefore, as soon as you can, you gain all the way back. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you, as soon as, like, as soon as you're on this diet, right, you're, you're only eating the specific types of food, and then you really, really push yourself and you sacrifice a fuck ton. Uh, when well, you feel like you're sacrificing for a fuck ton because of lack of awareness and your lack of uh, habits to support that lifestyle eating. And then, as soon as you're fucking done, you pick the fuck out, right? And then you are back up and eating like shit all the time. And then you gain the weight again because you never learn how to not eat like shit. You just starve yourself from the, like eating the foods that you wanted to eat to for a specific amount of days and, and so like and you can do that shit with caffeine too or you're like struggling for 14 days or 30 days or however however long it's it's rough dude it's rough i don't i mean some people do that shit like that's dope um i'll say just like give up fucking bread and shit like if you give up gluten like just think about giving up gluten all right and that means that you just can't have burritos you have to have tacos you can't have pasta, you have to have rice. Like, shit like that, just literally give up gluten. Okay? Um, eat gluten free bread. Look it up. I'm sure you'll find it. But if you if you can do something like that, that's much more beneficial because you're going to have to do lifestyle changes, not necessarily just stick to a diet or like not eat certain things and starve yourself. But you can do the same thing with caffeine, okay? You can just have a little bit of caffeine in the morning right before you work out and just chill. The rest of the day, drink water. Don't drink coffee. You say, oh, I need my coffee. No, you don't. Nobody needs anything. And I need to bring drink pre-workout. Like, I really don't, but, like, I choose to. I want to. I could also, like, not work out, but I choose to and I want to. So, it's part of my identity. Pre-workout is, like, it's part of my identity. Just how drinking coffee is part of people's identity, right? How many of your parents or the people you know that just wake up and have a cup of coffee? Or multiple cups of coffee. And you think about how much caffeine do you actually fucking intake in? And they don't even know. They just go by feel, right? It's 
my experience. I don't know. Just remember, it's all bro science. I'll catch you on the next pump. Peace.